love first sight, I guess. It's an unlikely love affair. It's been a really long journey, two years. Shy Cassie Robinson met the wild and untamed ranger. Before he wouldn't let anyone touch him, but he let me come right up to him. He's known as the crazy horse in the farm. At one point, deemed so dangerous, he was going to be put to sleep. I definitely was not prepared for him, but it was a lot of research and a lot of practice with other horses before I was ready to do it. Ranger came from a farm in North Dakota. He was abused most of his life. Like him, there are many other horses at the Eagle Hill Equine Rescue Center. There you go. Katie Edinger helped train Cassie. Her story is a fantastic example of why we are here. Once a volunteer herself, she now trains young people how to handle and ride the horses. But all that can't be done. We woke up the day after Christmas and everything was gone. Overnight, they say someone got in the barn. Those all had saddles on them. Thirteen saddles were stolen. Also gone, a couple girth, halters, and bridles. This was about $5,000 worth of, worth of equipment. You can't build a car without the right equipment. You can't train a horse without having the right equipment. Pretty much the only reason people get horses is for riding, and so if we can't teach them to ride, no one's going to adopt them. Because of the thefts, folks here at the shelter are thinking about possibly buying a new storage shed and purchasing security cameras. But it's money they simply don't have. They wish those who took the equipment would realize how much this is affecting the lives of people and horses. Every night there's a, there's a blessing you can think of that happened during the day. We try our best to help our community and taking advantage of a rescue like that isn't good. In Culpeper, Virginia. Good boy. Hatzelvella, ABC 7 News.